Okay. Here we have a problem on multiplication of matrices. Right? We are given two matrices A and B and we are asked to multiply these two. So the first thing that you do is find out the order of matrix A. What is that? 2 by 3. There are two rows and three columns. Similarly for B, 1, 2, 3, there are three rows and two columns. So condition 1 for multiplication of two matrices is that number of columns in A should be equal to number of rows in B. Now if you notice this condition is very well satisfied here. Number of columns in A is equal to 3 and number of rows in B is also equal to 3. Now what is going to be the order of the resulting matrix? Let's call the resulting matrix as AB. Okay, so order of AB is equal to what? If the order of matrix A is equal to M into N and that of B is equal to N into P, then order of B is equal to M into P. Now if you compare M into N, which is the order of A with 2 into 3, you get 2 into 3. Here you have 3 into 2. So the order of AB will be equal to M, which is 2, into P, which is 2 again. So the matrix AB is going to have four elements, 1, 2, 3, 4, right? Now let's start finding out each of these four elements. Let's take the first one, okay? So to find out the value of the first order, what do you need to do? You need to kind of, I guess this is not working, you need to take the first row, okay, and the first column and multiply them. So you have these three and you have six, three and nine. Now whenever you are doing these multiplications, what will happen is that basically you multiply the first element with first row element out here. So 2 into 6 plus then multiply second with the second here 4 into 3 plus third with the third here minus 2 into 9. Okay so this will give you 12 plus 12 minus 18 which is equal to 6. So 6 is going to become the first element of this combined matrix AB. Right? So first row, first column, okay? This becomes first row, first column. Then you use first row second column just like what we did initially so you multiply 2 with 8 plus 4 into 4 plus minus 2 into 7 16 plus 16 minus 14 18 so first row, second column, okay, you put it in first row, second column. Again, for this one, you have 3, 6 and minus 1 which is second row and you take first column, 6, 3, 9. Again, same way, 3 into 6 which is 18 
plus 6 into 3 which is 18 plus minus 1 into 9 which gives you minus 9. Sum total 27. Second row, first column. Second row, first column. Okay, that's how the placement is also done. Now let's see the last one which is again 3, 6, minus 1, second row and second column 8, 4, 7. 3 into 8, 24 plus 6 into 4, 24 plus minus 1 into 7, minus 7. Right, 48 minus 7 gives you 41. So the product of the two matrix comes to this number. Right? So that's how you do the multiplication. You take first row, first column. Right? First row first column, first row, second column, then second row, first column, second row, second column. How do you put the numbers? First row, first column, so first row, first column. To understand the order of this matrix, it is M into P, where M represents the number of rows in the first and P represents the number of column in the second matrix. It's a 2 by 2 matrix. You've put in 4 elements out here. Right? And that's how basically you conclude.